I just played, hands down, the most insane champion solo queue match that I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely nothing about what you're about to see will make sense, but it may also reveal some of the most wild and profound secrets that champions have in Rainbow Six. Now, this is Think Like a Champion number 20, where I go solo queue into champion ranked, explain exactly what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it, so that you too can think and become an R6 champion and play better overall. But I could not have predicted how insane this game was going to be, and you guys are gonna watch that unfold right now. Enjoy. All right, here we are on Clubhouse, boys. Uh, we are playing a pretty good stack um, that's hopefully legit players. They have like 75, 80% win losses, which is, is extremely high. My win loss is about 70, but it looks like these guys are probably stacked together. They're probably five stacking, playing very early at eight in the morning here, uh, which, is a, which is a bit of a surprise, but uh, who knows what's going to happen. I'm going to play the ace because it is Clubhouse. Hard breaching is super, super strong on Clubhouse. I can play ace. I can play thermite. Uh, I think the ace is just a little more versatile. That way, if my teammates don't get the wall denial off the wall, then I'll be able to still do other things throughout the round and make some plays with those ace charges because they are very loud. They're great for, you know, being aggressive off of the sound of them. And there's a lot you can do with it. So let's take a look. It looks like they're not CC. This is another sign that they're actually solid players is they're probably going basement first. And they're not Jim either. So yeah, they are going basement. So we'll try to... I'm going to try to open up Dirt Tunnel and the Kitchen Hatch just to apply some pressure directly on the site by opening that Kitchen Hatch. And if back army is free, I can try to maybe even go for a drop and try to take the site. Or I can try to push Dirt if that's free either. Now, I should try to get my drone out of here. Too late. Too slow. Uh, they have the Cap Can. They might be playing pretty aggressive here on their own. They might all spawn peek and run out. And that's definitely something i got to be careful of. I'm going to watch this Kitchen Hall and pre fire it. A lot of people like go prone Changing and spawn peek there. Okay, let's see what we got. Kitchen window is shut. That's good. Take a look at this hallway here. We'll take a little drone in here and check out kitchen and make sure it's clear. Are they in master? And then we can open up their basement. So this is... Is this Caden? It is not. I thought it was. Okay, my game is really not having it today. Hopefully it picks up the pace here shortly. There are these Capcan traps. There's nobody in the hallway. So we should be good to just... Make our way in. I'm gonna redrone this hallway again to make sure there's nobody close. I might need this drone later, so I'm gonna do this just in case they cage trick. So if, if this wall is gated, you actually ace the floor beside it if the hatch is gated, sorry. And that'll open the hatch. That's kind of like a neat little trick you can do. It's a way open dirt. It's soft. I don't want to really waste my ace charge, but I, if I have to, I will. I'm just going to do it because it looks like my team's getting pretty aggressive already. There's one in kitchen, one in kitchen. That's the kitchen guy. Where's that last guy at? Last one about 50, 60 HP, last thing AKs. If you come kitchen hatch, we can drop kitch. Hey, give me a sec, I'll join him. You should be clear to go in church. Honestly, yeah, church might be free. Okay. Watch out for cash guns. Gotta be careful. This could be a just complete lie. Still be. I should have probably just went kitchen hatch and droned him. Going church there, it's near impossible if he is holding this angle, so wasn't a great idea. Uh, it's really too bad. I, I trust my teammates. I listened to them, and I there was nothing I could have done there. I should have just went to the hatch because we had a pinch on him. If I was in the hatch, I could have dropped on him, but it's okay. Next time I'll know that I should just do what I think is best instead of listening to my teammates because sometimes your teammates think things and it's just a little tougher than you'd think. So I should have, yeah, we had lots of time. Could have used my drone, played from the hatch. Uh, because my teammate's blue, he can't sit box three, so it lets me drop the hatch very easily. And if he is back armory, that's when I can probably go blue. But having that updated info and actually knowing exactly where he is would have been a good idea. So I even could have gone by me and then droned him. Um, but but it just would have been a little risky in case he was around that hallway area he could have pushed up on me so it's all good unfortunate loss on the first round but we got the thatcher this time so i'll probably bring the thermite my team is working still really well together so i should be okay wallace is gonna starve to death apparently even though i fed him three times this morning already but what do you know what do you know what's new 
Nothing, dude. Wallace is always meowing at me. Always yapping in the back, dude. Like, I'm trying to yap, and you're over here yapping. We can't have a yap off, Wallace. Not right now. I'm busy. It was kind of tough because the kitchen push was pretty free, but I my whole team went blue. But I would say they still did great, you know? Like, my teammates got it down to a 2v1, so I have nothing to really complain about right now. Um, they're probably going to go CC. I hope I don't get tricked. Like, they could bring, like, a bandit combo. Playing the support here, it looks like, today. I don't mind that. I honestly... I think playing support is fine. Uh, I think you can really frag out on support, too. It looks like they're gym, though, so I'm going to go ace and spawn on the opposite side. And then there goes our Thatcher. Okay. So much for that plan. Switching off Thatcher last second is kind of kind of rude, especially when you don't know if they have wall denial or not. But I switched to the ace anyway, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be all right. I'll claim where this run out. A lot of people can run, like to run out here and kill the guy on the repel here. Um, I also like claymoring this door straight into it for if they rip it down to try and run out. If they impact it, we'll probably break the claymore as well, but I don't mind. So this wall is not banded so I'm going to open up quick. Add some pressure to sight right off the start. I'll drone it out, make sure they aren't playing close. How did he get away? I guess he ran away the second I joined him. Interesting. Okay. I was not expecting that. You see him head glitching that Logi door? Oh, he's still in strip. Wow. I heard the impact. I did not know he could look so deep onto there. Again, unfortunate. I had to try to get that kill. It was a 2v4. These guys are simply outplaying us right now. And my team is doing some interesting... Interesting strats. I mean, they're taking a cross, but it doesn't seem like they're really opening much. Like, I'm not sure what their plan is, because when you take a cross, you have to feed through the single door. Wow, All absolutely shit have been eliminated. We'll blame that round on Wallace. And then we'll regroup next round, okay? Eventually, they're going to have to start getting kills. You can't guarantee that you're going to get kills every single round. Um, sometimes you will just get shit on every round, too, so... You know, and then the next game you might get a bunch of kills. You never know. But keeping keeping the mental alive is the most important thing. I've talked about this a lot. You wanna just stay stay confident, like, yeah, this these guys are better than us. Like this is a better team, but that doesn't mean we can't win. That doesn't mean that we can't find some way to win. That and now that might be like I gotta turn up. I gotta get more aggressive. I gotta kill them before they kill my whole team. I got to play with my team a bit more because I'm playing the support, but then my team's not coming to where the support would be useful. So maybe I should just be pushing with them, even though I'm playing like that ace or that thermite or whatever it is. So it looks like they're going to go CC this time for real. We have the Cappy Tower, so I'd assume my team is doing like a garage take here. I could put pick up the Thurman, open the main breach and play the repel, but they haven't been very aggressive on the breaches. They've been really pressuring wherever my team's pushing from. So I just want to make sure I'm spawned with them. I know I switched my spawn last second last time, but... Again, because it's gym, getting that jacuzzi wall is very strong. But I could have just probably pushed across CC, so it's something we can learn from. I'm going to actually go with my team this time. Oh, I do have a kill. I didn't think I've killed anyone. Oh, yeah, I killed a guy in kitchen, right. All right, so this doesn't look too bad. It looks like we're setting up for this CC push. We should be fine. We got drones underneath, so this is good Can't info for go. secret oil pit when we're actually pushing into garage. So it looks like we're actually planning a pretty solid push here. And I love attacking Clubhouse CC. I, this is one of my favorite attacks from competitive. Where you take garage, you open up garage wall, open up main breach. And it's really, really strong. So if we can pull this off and people can stay up, it's going to be a great take. But if we lose a few people, it can get very difficult very quickly. So we just have to be ready for that. Sounded like they... Can somebody claim more of the secret hub out? Sounded like they prepped the window. I'm going to make sure they're not bandit tricking real quick so I don't get... Don't get hit by it we're gonna do the middle of the breach that way we can see right and left side and then i'm gonna go around to garage. was he tricking why did you fucking shoot that like what did he shoot the thermite charge yeah he did okay well i can't open garage anymore so my teammate shot the thermite charge which is very interesting i'm gonna pre-fire off this in case they're playing aggressive I accidentally fall off they don't have any holes in rafters so he's pushing the breach close breach Garage wow, they door. are so aggressive. Whole team is dead. That 
Beeper was insane. Kind of a smart play, though. We got the picks back. There's another guy in the breach. Probably going to get aggressive down red, so I'm going to hold this for a second. He's going to wait. This guy is still on the breach, so I might be able to kill him off the rappel here. He's probably going to be holding it, though. I'm about to find a way into the building. Down to one friendly. 1v3. This is not looking good for the boys. I do hear this guy on the CC breachos again. I could try to take it from garage. But if there's multiple, it's going to be hard. There's a guy top red I hear. I heard him vault through the window. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Unfortunate. Tried to double flash him to be able to push up, but... My second flash mage, so made it a lot more difficult. Well, we tried. Again, team got wiped. It's something you kind of have to expect. You can't get down on yourself when you're playing a full stack of champs and your team is a little uh, on the lower rank side. I can try my best. I'm not really putting in enough right now for my team. Like, we definitely could have won at least one of those rounds if I, uh, if I performed a little better in the first two. But it's out of con our control now, not something we could really do. I could sweat on the smoke here. Smoke is like my try hard op if I'm trying to win really hard. But Malusi could also be a really good pick here. Or even a Cade. Or I could try to bandit trick. I'm going to bring a Cade just to slow them down. Actually, no, I'm going to bring the Malusi because I feel like... Ah! No, I'll bring the Cade because we have the Fenrir. So hopefully the Fenrir can set his Fenrir's upright. I do have to rely on my team a bit just because the other team is really strong. I need to try and fill in the gaps. I need to try and um support like however i can for my teammates so i'll play the cade i'll try to cade trick the main wall just to try and keep that shot if we can keep that shot they'll have to feed through the different entrances and ideally the fenrirs are already on those entrances so we should be okay um because that will give us the info we need to actually deal with it i'm gonna assume they'll pick thatcher especially because they are like a five stack they're working well together um so i'll because of that i'm gonna do that they might double Thatcher, though. It could work. Who knows? I could do the Invincible Cades, but... Ten seconds. Just the Thatcher's on the board, so I, I don't think it's a great idea. This is also a really horrible idea. Um, that makes it so we can't get in and out of Garage Rafters, which I don't love. Um, you want to be able to rotate between the two, and there it goes. And now our team is all dying. Okay, this guy's just wrong. Interesting. Looks like they're coming garage already. Monty's in rafters already. Take it extend, please. Thank you. Watch out for Gaios. Wow. I'm reloading. All right, this is not looking good. Can I get a stim beside you, dog? They got the wall open. I get a stim dog. Do you have one? He's out. This fender is also super high up. You want that lower to actually catch them when they push up the stairs, but we don't have info for that now, so maybe I did rely on my teammates a little too much. Alright, good work, team. Somehow we. Wow, somehow we won the round. With the reverse friendly fire kill on the Goyo, who stood in the fire the entire time. Um, I yeah, I don't know. And then I beamed my teammates. So that was an absolute mess of a round. I don't know how we managed to win it. But we did. So hey, we'll take what we can. We'll keep we'll keep trucking through, I guess. Um, who knows what could happen? <laughs> you never know. So uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna bring either like a Malusi or some sort of extra info this time. Uh the K trick, I didn't even realize they got the Kate off the wall. Um so, I kind of failed on the cage tricking half, but there was so much pressure that it wasn't, like, really 
the most important thing at the time. However, the Fenriers were very poorly placed, so I think the Malusis uh, will be a lot more useful just to have information on where they're actually pushing from because you want to put them down the staircases. You want to put them at least like kind of like halfway, so that way you get an alert when they're actually coming. That Fenrir at top red, that wouldn't have gone off until they took literally the entire site already, so you're already going to be dead at the point where they're top red and taking that hallway. So you want to make sure you're putting it lower down. So right here, this will activate when they're coming up the stairs, not while they're already at the top, holding angles into sight and being able to kill us. Uh, we could put one construction as well. This one's a little sneaky. It's a little hidden. If they hop in the window and sneak up to the door, it'll it'll catch them off. I might have to even impact the rotates, sadly, which is a big waste of the impact, especially since they're bringing those shields. But the rotates are so, so important. Being able to flow between lodging and construction and have crossfires onto those areas, not only just to establish crossfires, but also so that the other team just doesn't take it right away. Like, if they just take it, it's just going to be a lot more difficult, right? Or if they, if they see that if there's no rotate, they're they're able to just take that area. They have that control for free, essentially, because there's only one door you can contest it from. One flash, one grenade, one Dumb simple bitch. piece of utility, and that's it. Well, that's just me. Can somebody make a rotate into gold? Grow up, kid. All right, my, the randoms are in shambles as well. And there we go. Okay, that's... This is why rank 2.0 was a terrible idea. They put golds in champ lobbies, and now all the egos are out to play. And they kill you on this store as well. It's very... Yeah, this guy's just fully throwing. So is anyone going to help now. Fenrir? Help him! And drone from Lodgy Hatch as well. Drone's all over. Hey, I'm Parker, why don't you grow a pair of balls and grow up? It's not fun. No, it's <laughs> well, not I don't fun. know what's happening right now. But hey, the game is not over yet. Oh, and he's holding that pixel. Wow, unexpected. Okay, well. Um, poor this guy. I don't know what made this guy want to throw the whole game. But the game is not over. One's with the Lodgy Breach, he's, he's taking Jim, and Jim, and Jim, and Jim. My turn. Oh, the one's behind you and Khan. Khan, Khan. One op four remaining. Located the diffuser, destroy it. Stick it, stick it, stick it. Oh, what'd you get up? I have your long cam. I have your cam in the hallway. I see it. Uh, the game keeps going. I thought this game was over, dude. Parker, like, what's actually the point of just, like, queuing to a ring? I'm gonna mute all my teammates. I gotta focus up right now. I don't know why everybody is getting team killed. This this barcode guy might honestly be a sixth queuing with these guys. Like, they might be queuing up early in the morning, knowing that there's nobody actually queuing. So they're queuing up as a five stack and then having a six person queue up to throw on the other team. That could explain why their win percentage is so high. Uh, because they do have like really, really high win percentage, like 80%, 78%, 78%, 75, 70, you know. Um, and then I can't actually see the stats of this guy, so I don't know, I don't know why that is, but he he queued up, he's throwing for no reason, it seems, which is strange. Like normally the only time you really see people like fully throwing in these games is when they have um like, there, there's a reason to. Like, they get mad about something or whatever. Uh, he could just be a cheater who's trying to drop his stats. I don't know. He's from Europe as well. Like, these guys are EU and NA. So, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's very strange, very odd. I haven't actually seen this happen very much. But regardless of that, I'm going to bring the cap can. Hopefully get some cap can kills. Uh, I, we're still in the game. We're, the game is still going somehow. I have, I have no idea. But... Um, here we are. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to try to contest Kitchen a little bit. Kitch Hall, maybe put some Cap Cans Bar. I might actually start Strip Side and shoot some drones over there and maybe try to get a quick pick. These guys are droning a lot, so I, I probably actually i am not going to put my Cap Cans Kitch because they're definitely going to drone it out. Uh, hopefully Val gets that cam. The bottom main Cap Cans are super good, especially for the late round when they push late round. So I'm going to do these ones. And then I'll probably put some, like, uh, swamp, maybe, for if they come from garage into 
um, that swamp area. Or I could put them... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this door. I like this door a lot. This blue door, people push it late round all the time. Don't check it for Capcans. Uh, it's, it's a good way to kill people who drone a lot. The Capcans on site are good against people who are really effective at clearing and droning because late in the round when they're droning the actual site out, a lot of the time they don't drone those areas. I don't know why this guy keeps... He's even putting Goyos down so that our team breaks him so that he can stand in them and kill himself. So we can't even actually... He's actually blocking off our entrances uh, in and out of the site. So I actually can't leave the bomb site at this point where this guy will stand in the fire and uh, I'll get reverse friendly fire and I'll get banned. So that is really unfortunate because now I'm just stuck in church. But what can you do? We're going to have to make it work. A bonus kitchen. So yeah, it does seem like he's intentionally throwing like as much as he possibly can. And there he goes standing in the fire again. So now I can get out at least. But again, we don't have a rotate. This is a struggle fest right here. I don't know how we're actually winning at this point. Or like, I don't know how we're in the game at this point. If I'm being completely honest. And of course, I don't want to get banned. So that'd be a worst case scenario. I'm going to try to make some holes just to watch the kitchen hatch. This is typically something you would already want. Yeager is main stairs, so I can hold this fairly aggressively. Now we do have that Valcam in kitchen, so. I'm gonna hold dirt. Nice. Wow, we are still in this game. This is actually one of the most insane games I've ever played. Uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, but hey, we'll take it. We're going to overtime, boys. Apparently. I'm gonna check this kitchen cam. I'm gonna use this to try and get a C4. Um. I'm not sure what Jaeger's doing on it, but it's fine. He's turning it. I don't know what's happening right now. Somehow Jaeger's killing everyone. And I'll, I'm fine with that. Unless maybe the... No, the Jaeger's not cheating. Is he? He has a 1.56. Maybe these guys are queued together. This guy's lowering his stats and this guy's cheating. I don't know. That's the crazy part about champion ranked is you really never know what the fuck is going on. You never know. It's so crazy. It's just insane. Died bottom main. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very nice. The Capcans went off, but they didn't kill him. Wait, what? Maybe I only had one cap can left then? Because Ash is a three speed. Two cap cans should fully kill her instantly. Uh, maybe the damage didn't hit yet. I have, I, I don't know. Did I even get an assist for that? I don't know. Uh, maybe, strange. Okay, all right, some more. <laughs> this is the most insane rank game I think I have ever played. I have no idea what's going on. 95% of this game. This is nuts. This is nuts, dude. Okay, so I might play like Monty maybe. I don't, oh, dude, I, I don't even know. We're playing 4v5. Somehow we're in OT. This guy's got 12 kills. My cap can traps don't work. Um, I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to try my best. That's all uh, That's all we can do. Like, I might as well try to win the game still, you know? We made it to OT. I, what, do you, what is going on? This is like the average... I feel like this is like an average match when you're like plat, you know? Is there any plats that, like, this is just, like, a, a, an average game? This is a typical day in the life of a platinum ranked player? Like, I could believe that, because, like, this is just unheard of in champ. Like, people just don't usually do this in champ. I don't have this happen in my games very often, and it's kind of absurd. Um, maybe we should unmute everyone and just see if the hostility is still going hard. Let's see. Let's see if they're still if they're still hating on each other. The craziest part is this guy Bro, doesn't have any reverse friendly like, fire. Why a ranked game just to be a fan? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't have unmuted. That's not what makes someone fast. All right, That's they're basement. All right, I'm going to have to mute them because, unfortunately, we cannot have these sort of words in the YouTube videos. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the, sorry, guys. Somebody commented on one of the videos like, yeah, man, I, I don't like I wish you wouldn't mute everyone because, like, it's inter it's fun to hear them, like, like getting angry at each other or whatever. I'm like, ah, oh, well. Unfortunately, that's part of the life, is that you can't have that on YouTube. Um, all right. So anyway, we'll try to go for this kitchen dirt again. I think it'll work well still. Um, but then again, maybe I should just go with my team. 
because like the mistake last time was I didn't go well the, actually the mistake last time was I listened to my team they actually did fine by themselves so I'm gonna open up dirt make sure I get the default I'm gonna drone this out again just in case someone walked in I want to play it's very safe I want to preserve my life I want to stay alive if I die it could go poorly so I want to make sure I am staying up by getting the hatches no Oh, it'll actually reach. It'll reach. It'll reach. It'll get it. Oh my gosh, that was almost a failure, but it was also clutch. I don't want to get C4 here as well. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to work the hatch, try to get a pick. I might just drop it. I just set it on the drop. Valk's underneath catch hatch right underneath the catch hatch. Swapping mags. So I always have a Valk cam. I'm going to have to try to walk down dirt, I think. That's kind of one of my only options. Walk down dirt and hope I win my gunfights. And I'm getting interrogated. This is much worse now. Uh, or is it? This actually might be good, because it might actually give me the opportunity to get kills. Uh, I think one's probably stock as well. He's going to hold this. That's one. There's an Oryx there, too. He'll probably peek as well. I do have dirt open, so i got to be aware of that. They also know I have dirt open, though. Stock is slit open. The kitch hall door is also open. So there might be a guy playing aggressively there. I think I heard him in stock. I think I hear him stock still. There was one on my left. I had to push through, unfortunately. I could have kept holding the hallway, I guess, but three kills, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, those are impactless frags. Essentially, I'm still three and five. If I win the round, yeah, obviously, the kills matter. But because I'm in a 1v5, like, the kills don't, they don't mean a lot. Like, they're going to be right at me. They're kills I wouldn't typically get. It doesn't, it's not something that you should, like, think you're better. Like, I shouldn't think that I'm, like, doing way better than these guys because I have more kills, right? If anything, I'm doing worse because I really only have, like, three kills that were actually useful. Um... But at the same time, like, we've got Buddy. We got this guy on our team, which I, I have no idea what it is. Oh, somebody locked. Nice. Somebody took Goyo so that he couldn't go Goyo. That's huge. Um, They do keep bringing that Monty. I think I'm just going to bring Maluzi with impacts. The C4s, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to bring Tubro, actually. I'm going to bring Tubro so I have that C4 still, but I can also waste time on the Breach because they're playing so fast. If I can just keep the Breach closed for even just that 30 seconds when they go to Thermite it, that's going to give me a lot of time to make plays in other areas. Now, it would be even longer and be even more effective if we had a Kate as well, but we have Rook and Doc instead, so what are you going to do, you know? Um. This guy still hasn't team killed anyone, so I would be I would be actually surprised if he didn't team kill someone here. Our entire team has reverse friendly fire because this guy keeps walking to the Goyos. Uh, and then I of course beamed our teammate that one round. Uh, but I'm glad that this guy grabbed the Goyo. That was a that was a power move. Good move by this guy. But you know, it's kinda hard when you're trying to beat the other team and you're also trying to beat your team at the same time. <laughs> but it's part of the life, man. It's just part of the life. You just have to accept it, you know. Uh, what can you do? You know, that's what's in your control. That's what you have to ask yourself. This is not in my control. Why would I worry about it? Yeah, it sucks. Like, I'm going to lose rank and, you know, we're, we're we're just literally throwing the game for us. But, you know, at the same time, it's I can't do anything about that. I'm going to just keep trying to play. And that's that's about it. That's all I can do. We have this buck at the repel already. They didn't even shoot the default. He's going to the roof. Buck's going Lodgy. One's coming in stock, Rook. He's coming in stock on you. Thermite's coming in the main wall, so I have to get ready to... Oh, no, my game froze. Amaru's on the opposite side already. This... Hopefully it's... Amaru's on the other side of the map. Lodging. Oh, we keep shooting them now. Okay, well... Unfortunately, my teammate's shooting my two bros off as well, so I gotta worry about the breach. This guy got his first kill. He got a kill. That was crazy. I'm on the breach repel. Okay, well, this is, you know, not the game we expected, but the game we got. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know if you guys learned anything, but hopefully... You learned a bit about mindset and how you can use it to your advantage. I'm surprised these guys... We actually got to OT, but... I'm happy about it, I guess. It's a 1v1. 
Okay, okay, maybe the game's not over. Last one's on the breach. She's probably going for a revive right now on this Thatcher. Thatcher is up again. He definitely got revived. Oh my gosh, the game is still going. This guy is the best. This guy is carrying the team. He's 16 and 5. It just doesn't stop. Insane. I don't know how they keep managing to throw every round. Like, with the buck. What was the buck doing, you know? Like, we we can't even reinforce the site, dude. We can't even reinforce. And every time I do anything, I'm getting my utility shot, you know? I get my... I'm trying to freeze the wall, and they're getting shot by my teammate who's throwing. And then I, I turn around, there's a guy holding a pixel. Because they have to control the entire map because their setups are completely awful. And this guy just kills everyone with Rook. Like... Oh, wow. Okay, well... This is it, guys. It all comes down to this. They're going to be Jim. I could go the Ace. I could go Lodgy Hatch. I could go Yana. The best solo queue op in the game. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just play Yana. I'll try to gather info. I'll try to just... I'll try to... I'll try to do what I do with Yana, which is get control, play aggressive, and play for kills. And push for kills and get them. And let's see. Let's see how it goes. Yana is my baby girl. If she lets me down now... That might be the biggest disappointment of my entire life. But if we manage to win this game, that would be the most ridiculous win of my entire life. And it literally is all because of this guy. That's literally it. This guy is just this guy is powering through with the mind of a champion, dude. This guy's mental is unfazed. He's unfazed. He's he's untamed and this and he's a legend. He's a fucking legend, dude. Okay, it looks like they're going CC. I just want to double check by actually clearing out Master. I'll probably still come Master side with the Yana clones. Try to work Logi. Try to work Khan. Maybe work Server Window. I might even hop in Server Window. But then again, Master's all free. I'm going to set my drone on the bed. This guy's barricading the door, which is good to know. That means that they're not going to be playing this side, so I could actually take it for free later on. Um, and I, I would assume he's still going to do the same thing, so I'm going to worry with it. So yeah, I'm going to go to the roof, work this server window. Might be able to hop in the window if it's free, use a flashbang or two, and get in there. Hopefully my teammates can stay up and maybe work a little bit of a pick or two. That would be great if my team just kills people, you know, and they don't die themselves. Uh, and if they do, it might make my job a lot harder. So I can burn this with a clone, which is nice. Nice part about Yana is you have Yana clones. These guys are doing full setups too, which is like, the craziest part is like, oh, let's freaking go, dude. Jeminous that's huge, that's line. huge. The craziest part is like, they're doing full setups and somehow we're still managing to hold on. I'm just going to hold this Raptor's angle for if someone tries to cross, might be able to get a quick pick. And we don't have a hard breacher. Which makes life harder, but I'm gonna be able to get a pick on this red area if someone does. If I get peek from Khan, I'm just dead. It's the way of the world. Oh, I'm getting Flores by my teammate. I don't know why he's trying to Flores run me when he can just team kill me. Right? You know, like he hasn't team killed anyone, so. I mean, I'm not gonna let him know that he's missing his opportunities, but. <laughs> Floor's drone's definitely still team kill. Like, he does have bullets in his gun, but it's fine. So we're going to clear underneath here, try to work our way up red. And it's looking pretty clear. Use a flash to get up here. Boys. Boys, we won the game. Oh my god. Yo, Zofia, good shit, dude. You're the best, man. How the fuck did we win? He doesn't care, but, like... I don't know, guys. How, what what is this game what is this game i don't know if anything that's proof that 
I guess you can still win. Like, I don't, I did, I, I feel useless, but at the same time, we won the game. But literally, it was just this guy, I think. That's just, just game's channel for part two. It's going to be nothing like this, but we'll see you there. Oh, shit. 